It's cold today. It's like minus 25 here in Calgary. It seems like it's gonna snow again. So enjoy my home video with me. So here we have my home, okay? Um, this is why I, I'm gonna come on in. As you can see, my laptop's there. All right, um, here's my heater. The only thing that's giving me good vibes, you know, every time I come in here, it's so nice and warm. It's beautiful. Thank you again, Polar Mobility. You did an excellent job on my heater. It's clean. Uh, right? There's the heater down there. So that's an S-Bar heater. And the battery pack. And this heater... I, I, you know, I can't... Oh, I have to give it 145% or 200% um, on this heater. It hasn't failed me yet. From minus 50, minus 55, wind chill, minus 60, right? It hasn't failed me yet. Right now, uh, the temperature is on 21. Here is the, uh, whoops. Here's the little controller here by the foot of my bed, right? And it's working, you see that red? That means it's on. And right now it's at uh, plus 21 and it's warm inside, right? Now I do have cold spots in my truck. So on this side of my truck, it's nice and warm. Now on the other side, uh, yeah, it's a cold spot, right? Because the mattress is on the floor. So there's this person who's a carpenter. He said, if, I ever, if I'm ever out west, look, look him up and he will build me a platform. So that's what I need. So well, anyway, there's not much in here. I got bubble wrap on the windows. And, oh, there's my old Coleman stove table there. Oh, look, I never had got a chance to get around to uh, putting this together. I've just been busy, right? So I will have to do a video on this uh, eventually. So what I can do is have... Um, a longer hose to come over here to warm up this side of the truck, right? And there's my my grill. Thank you, Sammy, for that. And thank you, Sammy, for that. For the Coleman stove, uh, for the table. And uh, thank you, everybody, for helping me out uh, for my kitchen. Um, uh, okay, so there's not much to it, right? Pillows. Uh, right, so oh, gotta take my laptop out today. So anyway, that's my home. <laughs> uh, not much to it, but like I said, I need a platform. Oh. Like I said, uh, I need a platform built here, but I don't want it too high because it's hard to crawl in and crawl out of my truck. Right, I, I like my man door. The, right, and. Uh, you know, I want some shelving here. So, let's get out of here. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. It's a beautiful truck. Beautiful inside. Now, the truck is getting old. But that heater, that s -bar heater, has a family once. Thank you again, Polar Mobility. Oh, the van nut. If you're watching this video, look, buddy. I have it up. Willie's Truck Life. Thank you, Don, the Van Nut. Uh, go check his channel out, the Van Nut, and give him, uh, give him uh, subscribe to his channel as well. So, there you have it, guys. That's my truck. My home. Thank you, everybody. We did it. We got 500 subscribers now. 500. I can't believe it. I gotta go ride a scooter now. Well, I'll have to wait for the weather to warm up or wait for some people to come back in from the road trip. I left Edmonton yesterday, came out to Deerfoot City here in Calgary and they're to surprise people and there's no one around. But I guess they're all gone on a road trip. 
it's great to have a, uh, a Starlink. You don't have to park at the same spot anymore with a Starlink. But me, I just keep on using the Wi-Fi, right? My data on my phone, I only got like 120 gigabytes or something of data on my phone. And once that runs out, I gotta sit at a, at a, at a in Deerfoot City or at a McDonald's and download a video and it takes forever to download. So I'm gonna have to look for one of those Starlinks pretty soon. They are, they are expensive, but they do come in handy. Um, but I don't really want to take on uh, another bill, right? I mean, I believe here in Canada, the Starlink are like $170 a month, really. But no, I, I can't afford that, right? But as my channel grows and I see, like, okay, maybe maybe I, 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 I could use one, right? But because I'm still a young channel, young, <laughs> I, I'll just keep on waiting. I'll wait, right? Yes, I'm in Calgary again. I, I came here to surprise some people, and they're not here. <laughs> I'm the one that that got that had the surprise. Why? Where's everybody? Right? So, oh well, what do you do, right? So, I'm gonna head for a coffee. Uh, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do today. I might go on a little road trip myself, right? out west I might as well continue going west I know my truck is not the healthiest but you know I can't let that bother me right I mean I can't let that worry me I gotta keep going right That like that little hobo dog gotta keep moving on down the road is where I'm gonna be if I stop right there I'll make it Whatever, you know how it goes. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Two Arms. We'll be with you shortly. Thank you. Yes, uh, a large coffee, two milk. Anything else? No, that's everything, thanks. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Jeez, the fan just got in again as we're driving. It was off and now it's back on again. The fan has uh, a mind of its own. So I mean, it's still, it's still creating heat. I was at the garage the other day where I had a appointment. So the service rep said that they were really, really busy. Some of the mechanics were sick and they said that they may or may not be able to look at my truck today to leave it here overnight. And that wasn't gonna work for me. I live in my home, so I need my truck, right? So I left because there were some people out there that left comments and some mechanics, uh, they said that oh, I should be able to do it on my own, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, that's one of the reasons why I came to the Deerfoot City. I don't have any tools, right? So some people here has tools, so they may be able to help me out, but there's no one here, so what am I gonna do, right? I'm going west. <laughs> oh, um, and then I had a course on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I was supposed to have courses, but I went to a course on Wednesday uh, for my training. I have a little bit of a uh, clip I'm going to show you uh, on my course. And then the instructor was sick for Thursday and Friday, so I had to rebook a safety course. So. Uh, for February 8th and February 9th. So I may or may not go back into Edmonton, right? So, um, yeah, enjoy those clips. All right. Up and down, side to side, and talk to me. Right on. Right, What's for supper? <laughs> Oh, that was pretty easy. 
That was a fun course to do. It's mandatory to get a job, so it's done. Good. When I was home uh, this Christmas in Newfoundland, I did a little bit of recording that I never showed. It's Middle Cove Beach uh, in Torbay, Newfoundland. And we went down and it was really, really windy that day. And the waves were so high, right? This beach um, that you will see, it's where the Cape Town rolls in every summer, uh, early July. And this is when it's time that we go fishing for cod off the banks of Newfoundland. So enjoy these videos because I, I, I really want to, to keep them uh, as a diary. My phone doesn't have a lot of storage, so I want to keep it. So enjoy these little clips of the beach of Newfoundland in Middle Cove. Thank you for watching, everybody. It's been a blast here in Calgary, but I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on again. Like I said earlier, thank you for the 500 subscribers and counting. 
I love you all. Stay warm. Stay safe. Hug the next person to you because you never know when you see them again. Life is good. Bye, all. Love you. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Bye.